Ensuring a safe trip to and from school is vital for the success of students of any age. That's why at Richard Wright Public Charter School, parents, faculty, and volunteers are lining the streets to give kids a safe path home. We do this every day. So not only do we have a long school day, the administrators, we come out and teachers and everybody's involved. We do, we make sure that our kids get to the metro and make sure that they get on the bus stop and that they get on their way home safely. Safe Passage isn't a new concept for students at Richard Wright. Dr. Clark says it's in its fifth year. The crowds meeting the kids as they walk out the door at the end of the day are getting bigger though. Now lining both sides of the sidewalk. Hey, ready, ready, ready. Come on over here. Because we gotta fight this war together. And they're growing louder too. From the school exit all the way up the block, supporters can be heard shouting messages of motivation and encouragement to kids as they pass by. Young kings and please. I'm gonna stop raising that algebra one, man. All right, aim high, aim high. I see all these people out here and they really care about our well-being. So the school is pretty small, so when I see everyone's dad and father and uncle out here, I really think that it's really mind-blowing. Fathers care about their children and that we're gonna do everything we can to protect them. And here we are, different fraternities, different religions, but we all stand together on that. That's the common ground. A consistent message heard from those involved in Richard Wright's Safe Passage program, that common ground leads to more DC children having this type of daily send off from school. I hope this becomes infectious across the city. I hope that other folks want to get it on board and we have a man a block across the district. There's something that everybody in the district can do, whether you have a kid in school or not, they can still do something positively for others. At Richard Wright, students focus on studying journalism and media. On this day, a few of them took the opportunity to interview fellow classmates, most of which who are humbled and grateful for the level of support and safety this Safe Passage program provides. We don't even know some of these people, and these people are out here like supporting us. But these volunteers aren't here because they know each child's name or recognize every face. They show up because they believe creating a safe environment leads to a path of quality education. How are those grades? Good. Aim high.